All right, we've got four basic different constructions of ropes that are used for climbing in the tree care industry. And still three strand, the original, still used in today's climbing. 12 strand, still used by some climbers. Very popular, the 16 strand, and now the 24 strand ropes. So let's go through each of these talk about advantages and disadvantages, and that may help you determine if you're using the best rope for the job that you're doing. So three strand. This has been around for a lot of years, longer than any of the other constructions, and it's very simply three strands that are woven together. When we had very few choices of ropes to use, 1940s, 1950s, through the 60s, then a three strand rope was it. You really didn't have other choices. There aren't a whole lot of advantages to three strand, uh, but if you care for it, it will hold you. And some of the disadvantages are that it has a lot of stretch and that it can twist and be difficult to manage. So those complaints got to the rope manufacturers and the rope manufacturers came up with a 12 strand rope. So the 12 strand rope still has stretch but not quite as much as most of the three strand ropes. A 12 strand rope still twists and is not super easy to use but it twists less than three strand and is easier than three strand to use in most cases. One reason why people like the 12 strand rope is it's got a good hand to it. They're generally sort of thick half inch ropes. So if you've got big hands or you don't like to climb with gloves, then 12 strands are generally easier to grip than some of the other ropes out there. So tree climbers kept on complaining and the rope, manufacturer, rope manufacturers kept on listening and they came up with a 16 strand rope. Here we've got a 16 strand. This particular one is called Fire. And it hockles less than the 12 strand rope. It stretches less than the 12 strand rope. And it stays round better. So why would staying round be an advantage in the tree care industry? Well, as climbers, we're using generally other pieces of rope or the same rope to form a climbing hitch around the rope. And if the rope flattens, then those climbing hitches either bind too much or don't bind enough. And if you're up in a tree and your climbing hitch is binding too much or not enough, then you're not very secure and you're not, it's not very easy for you to move around the tree. So the more round your rope stays, then the more consistently your climbing hitch will grab the rope. And it'll just make moving around the tree a whole lot easier for you. So 16 strands were great. A lot of people loved them. Uh, still a very popular rope in the tree care industry today. Uh, but the manufacturers kept on working with tree climbers and kept on trying to improve uh, the rope for the tree care industry. And uh, they came up with a 24 strand rope. We also call these double braid ropes. Uh, it's actually two ropes in one. The core is a rope and then the jacket is another rope. So double braid is what we call them. Now, these are also generally smaller in diameter, uh, which makes them lighter and it makes them a little bit easier to work with when you're throwing them up, advancing in a tree or flipping it around. Uh, they just seem to listen a little bit better. Uh, less stretch also than the 16 strand, uh, which is an advantage in most climbing situations. But one of the main advantages of the 24 strand rope is the ability that it has to stay round even better than the 16 strand rope. And it's also smoother than the 16 strand rope. 
So the combination of it being smoother and staying rounder means that you can get your climbing hitch dialed right in so that it bites exactly and when you want it to bite and it releases right when you want it to release. Just a little touch and it's releasing and just a little grab and you're sitting secure in the tree. So the combination of it staying round and it being smoother equals a super high level of performance for your climbing hitch. You can just kind of be touching that lightly and you're going down or going out the limb. And as soon as you sit back in it, it's biting right away. So when I say high performance, you don't barely have to mess with it at all. It just responds quickly and does exactly what you want it to do when you want it to do it. And that just makes climbing around the tree easier and more enjoyable. With 24 strand ropes, because they're smaller in diameter and because they're smoother, they don't have as much ability as the other ropes to handle natural crotches or the friction and the heat that's generated in natural crotches. So it's a good idea to consider some kind of a false crotch when using the 24 strand ropes.